I'm Olivia Wayne and this is The Sheer Luck Show. Coming up today is some party season makeup inspiration, 20 questions with Georgia Toffolo, three new delicious recipes and behind the scenes at a very fun shoot. But first I'm joined by Polly, Rhea Cartwright and Georgia Toffolo. Welcome, how are you all? Excuse my voice today, it's like a little bit intense and I'm very aware of it. It's but... a little bit sexy as oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Sexy <laughs> That's for yeah. you guys. What a gorgeous panel we have today. Rhea, Thank pleasure you. to see you. I've never done a panel with you. Great to have you. Lovely to be here. And Toff, lovely to meet you. And hi, Paul. Hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> um, so, how are we all? How are we all today? Big week. Chilly. Chilly right now. It feels like it's really dropped. Right? Yes, it has. Boring weather chat, but anyway. <laughs> it's not the NA. We're allowed to discuss the We're weather. allowed. Yeah. yeah. Boring. <laughs> um, so, first topic I want to get into. There's an article on site this week about bad habits. Hmm. particularly hmm. biting your nails. We all know that's a, not, a wrong thing to do. Um, any that you guys have, habit-wise, that you're happy to admit to, volunteer to the nation and international <laughs> community? <laughs> Where on earth do I start? <laughs> I mean, Jesus, is it the booze? Is it, what is it? But I mean, it made me love when you talk about nail biting. So I've been, I mean, a lifelong nail biter. But the really? only thing that has sorted it is getting acrylics. Uh, you can't get in there. Sort of frowned yeah. upon. But yeah, and I was thinking about other bad habits that I've got. I've got one, which is sort of on the edge. It could be seen to be bad or quite epic at the same time. So before I fall asleep at night, I have to read the newspaper to cover to cover. But I can only do it on my telephone with the lights Ooh. off. And I'm like, it's great. I'm absorbing everything. I'm like a sponge. Mm. I know what's going on. But because of that nasty blue light, yeah. I'm super engaged. Uh, yeah. You know, but I've been doing it since I was about 15. But so. it's, it's better than doom scrolling social media, right? True. Okay, yeah. but they literally say, yeah. stop on your phone like an hour before sleep. I'm really bad for that as well, it. actually. Yeah, yeah, like I sit and I should, I'm trying to read a book more often, but like the first <laughs> thing I do when I wake up, pick up my phone, <gasps> last thing at night, it's terrible. But Same. I don't know, but addiction. She's got some books. Take your hair book. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, you slightly one over to Polly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. If she signs it, you'll have to read it. Rhea, any bad habits? Well, um, yeah, I'm actually a nail biter, which oh. is shocking. So, yeah, don't like. Zoom Do you know in. what? You say it and we all go zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, they look don't great. Look. Give well, me a because show. Because I'm trying not to bite them. Do you use that like stuff, stuff that you grow. dip your fingers in? No, because I just then wash it off. Mm. So, my it's grandma true. had bought that for me when I was like a kid, yeah. and I was like, no, Grandma, I can just wash my hands. Like, I know how to. And I got addicted to it. I mean, oh, really? I quite like the really? taste yeah. of it. It wasn't a deterrent at all. No, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not strong enough, no, you know? Is. So I normally always have gels if they look nice. Mm. Um, and I just haven't had the chance to book in. So the fact they're still here yeah. is okay. like, well, well done. done. Yeah. Yeah. Well <laughs> 31, done, I'm getting there, guys. Um, Good job. And actually, phone I can be a bit bad about, but I'm also quite militant about. Really? So I'm always like, no, like, don't touch it. Especially in the morning. I don't mind as much in the evening, but in the morning, I'm... I'm like, do not touch it. Really? Like, well, do you want to start your day? Like, when do you like first pick up your I phone? I try not to for about half an hour. But darling, That's how great. do you know what day it is? What time is it? <laughs> and I've got um, a Lumi <laughs> clock, it's which a is the best top. thing. Oh. Yeah, a Lumi clock is the best thing. It was a Christmas oh. present last year, okay. so you know it kind of it like. The light, that's something like sunlight. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it is the best gift. Does it actually have... work? It's amazing. It honestly Every has year my I life. think to myself, I should get one of those. Yeah. John Lewis. Like, mm. Can I tell you a story? When I was on Sky Sports, I might get up at 3 a.m. And one day, for whatever reason, my alarm didn't go off. <gasps> and I, you know, stir, look at my phone, there's 15 missed calls from oh my the team. Gosh, and you know, you're live at that's six hell. and you've got to get there, your makeup, prep, did a production meeting, all the things. And I'm like, Anyway, you know, you're like, I don't do it. Anyway, after my shift, which I scuttled in at 7.30, just sat in my seat an hour and a half late. Like, oh my God. Hello, good morning. <laughs> and the boss called me into his office and I was like, oh God. And he was like, that can happen once. You are to get that clock. Oh, oh really? Oh, really? You are, do you never rely on a phone again and you have backups? <laughs> oh, like, interesting. Yeah, because I, weirdly, I would always like rely on a phone over an alarm clock, which seems so backwards because <laughs> an alarm clock, that's its one job, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, 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 I can't rely on it. I, I probably pressed the button wrong or something. <laughs> also, you need that to put on, just a tip, your override so that after the... If one number calls you certain yeah. amount of times, it will like ring. After yeah, three, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when you see 15 missed calls, you literally want yes. to oh. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we move on. I won't tell you my bad habit because I think you'll all judge me. So that was really <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> Next up, Amy Conway, global pro makeup artist at Bobby Brown, shows us how to recreate a gorgeous, glowy, festive look, step by step. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Amy Conway, Global Pro Artist for Bobbi Brown, and today I'm going to show you how to create a gorgeous, festive, glowy look. I love to really reach for great hydrating bases, clean foundations that give you that flawless finish, and then opt for some really fun sparkle shadows to really bring out your look. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna go in with Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Now this is a moisturizer and a primer all in one. So not only will it ensure that your foundation lasts throughout the night, but it also gives you that really revived and refreshed look at the same time. It smells incredible because it's packed with vitamin E and C, and that just gives you that gorgeous radiant look but it also gives you a really moisturizing and hydrated finish for under makeup. Now this is our bestseller for a reason, so even better if you're thinking about gifting because it's great for anyone, any skin type. Next up, I'm going in with the Primer Plus Mattifier. Now this is a great product when you're getting that party perfect skin. Not only will it mattify in areas where you don't wanna see any excess shine, but it gives you that really flawless airbrush look to your complexion. Starting from where we see the most oiliest in areas, like around the nose, and blending that out towards the top of the forehead. Now a key part to creating a flawless base in your foundation for party season all comes down to the concealer. So I'm going to be using the Skin Full Cover Concealer. Now this comes in 23 shades. I'm going to be using the shade Sand. Now you can use this in three ways. So you can use the tip of the wand for any blemishes that may appear last minute. And then you can use the well of the wand to really create that flawless finish underneath the eye and take out any darkness or discoloration. Then if you flip the wand over, you can use the back of it to work in larger areas. And this is great if you often get any redness around the nose or any pigmentation in any areas. Now the reason I do concealer before foundation, because it's so important that you really target where the darkness is before you go in with a full face of foundation. I think most of us will often wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and instantly want to put full cover over the whole face. But it's really important that if you go in and take out only where you see the darkness or discoloration or redness, if you do that first, you'll find you won't use half as much of foundation after. Next, I'm going in with foundation and I'm gonna be using the Skin Longwear Weightless. Now, this is a great foundation to ensure that you're getting a really beautiful coverage that's gonna last all evening. Key tips when applying foundation is always brush down the face because this is the way the hair lies. And it's so important to use a brush because no matter how clean your hands are, you still have natural oils in your fingertips. And finally, if you're looking to build up coverage, just softly press your brush into the skin and that will ensure you can build up a more fuller coverage in those areas. Now, once you've created that gorgeous glowing base, the last thing you wanna do is go and add a heavy powder. So I'm gonna be using the Sheer Finish Press Powder because this is so lightweight that it just sets the makeup without changing the color or the coverage to the skin. So I'm just softly sweeping this over the T-zone and cheeks, but when you wanna build up a little more extra coverage, you can roll your brush, and this is a great tip to really add a little more powder in the areas where you need it. Next, I'm going in with the bronzing powder, and I love this to give you that really gorgeous evening glow. Now, when applying bronzer, a great way to always ensure that you get that natural, fresh finish is to almost work your bronzer around like a figure of three. Starting from the forehead, just to add that natural warmth, bringing it through the cheekbone to add a little definition, and finally, through the jawline. So I'm gonna be using the Pot Rouge, and I'm gonna be using this in the shade Fresh Melon. A great shade that gives that really moisturizing glow, and you can layer on top of powder or cream products to ensure that you get that really moisturizing finish. Now when applying this, I love to use the same brush that I use for foundation. You can blot this across the apples of the cheeks and blending it out towards the hairline. You can also use this on the lips, so just with your finger, press through the center of the lip and blend outwards for a soft touch of color. Now we're gonna create some really fun party eyes. And to do this, I'm gonna be using the Jade Stone Eye Palette. Now I love this because you have so many different shades to really create such different looks. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this palette and create a really gorgeous green smoky eye, something that's really wearable and you can build up for evening. Starting with a matte shadow first, and this is great to take out any excess oil and even out the tone. Then I'm gonna have a play with a few of these green shades to really build up my smoky eye. Then I'm gonna use a darker shade as a liner and you can use this dry or you can dampen your brush and use it wet to create a stronger look. What I love about creating wing liner with powder is it makes it so much easier because it just drags beautifully to create that lift in the outer corner of the eye. And then finally, I'm gonna finish the whole look with the Smoky Eye Mascara. To create that really false lash effect, I'm just starting at the front of the lash line, 
and building up. This is a great one to really ensure that you're gonna lift the eye and make it look really open. You can see it really pops the lash line. You wouldn't need a liquid liner if you don't want to because it's just gonna really frame that lash line and make the most of your lashes. So next I'm going in with what I like to call the jewelry to my makeup. These are the finishing touches, a great way to really set your look off. So with the Luxe Lip, I'm gonna be using the shade Neutral Rose and I love this because it's really buildable coverage and color. Plus it stays color true all night long, but it has a really beautiful moisturizing finish. So you can just swipe straight onto the lip for that really rich, bold, beautiful color. Now highlight powder, I love to use the sheer powder brush and taking it on the highest points of where the light naturally hits you is always gonna be the most flattering way to apply it. So starting by smiling in the mirror, applying to the highest point of the apple of the cheek, back towards the hairline. And again, if you want that extra party finish, you can apply with your fingertip, just the tip of the nose, the chin, and the cupid's bow. So here we have it, my festive glowy look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, it's all about having light, natural products that work with your complexion and your skin type that you can build up to a really fun party look, adding those little hints of sparkle on top. She made it look so easy to follow as they always do. Who knew you had to put on concealer before foundations? It's changed Any? my life that. I didn't know that. Are you gonna you do I, it? I'm a bit of a makeup, like I do one thing every day, day to night. And I watched that like, it was like hypnosis. I was like, my God, how does her face look so perfect? So, but they are pros. I mean, it's literally in the title. I mean, like Bobby pros as well are just a different breed of makeup artists. Yeah. Like, and Rhea knows so she's an wearable. authority. Yeah. yeah. Well, we love Funny. Bobby at Liberty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I feel, I feel like the Bobby Brown look is just, good for everybody, it's gorgeous, whatever age, whatever yeah. skin tones, you know? So, Absolutely. Uh, I yes, really fixated flawless. on it because um, I was fascinated because she was covering up inf imperfections, which I've struggled with for so long. I mean, my acne has been horrendous over the past sort of 15 years. And that tip, like you said about concealer first, because I think I go really wrong because I'm so like, got to cover everything up. Let me put foundation over everything. Mm. And actually you yeah. should just be doing the bits that are maybe flaring yeah. up that day. Yeah. And then you look like you haven't got as much yeah. on. Yeah, it's I such that a clever well. tip. So yeah. I'm sure you've had your makeup done loads. Oh my God, so much. So <laughs> do you, did you pick up any tips? or have you got any kind of hacks for us that we should know about? Yeah, so I'm when I'm broadcasting, I always look a little bit tired and dishevelled. Um, so anything that sort of combats that. And the biggest tip that I've always loved, and I stand by it, did it this morning, is white eyeliner on the oh, yeah. 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 And I use the Benefit one, and it's so good. It glides on, it takes about two seconds. Yeah. And I think it does Give work, actually. Give yourself a millimetre more of eye. Yes. Anything. That's great. I want it all. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Rhea, any tips for us? Come on, give us the juice. You know, it's quite boring, but it's always going to be skincare prep. Which, and, I, and I really feel like when you take the time and you do some layers, everything lasts longer. Mm. And it also doesn't have to be expensive. It can be like, you know, it can be from anywhere, any mm. price point, but just you need, especially now it's cold, you need moisture yeah. and that kind of, and layers, and then mm. everything sits better, lasts a bit longer. Mm. I reckon if you DM Rhea, she could suggest some great products. Yeah. <laughs> it will be open. <laughs> but for sure, she likes, has a whole host on the site about all of that. Uh, Polly? Come on. I mean, I am so far from a makeup expert. <laughs> I don't know how much advice you should be taking from me. But I think I try to like go for like cream based products. That's my mm. like one tip because I've got quite dry skin. And if you want that dewy look, like yeah. I've really got onto that. I've barely touched powders these days. I, know, I like, actually agree. It always looks amazing. Oh just have to just say, like, <laughs> Literally, I, like I can die happy. Like, it's great. <laughs> and right? also, I would say, I don't think you need much makeup. Not so that's like, I think if you need it, you kind of know about it. Come on, let's let's pile it on yeah. there. <laughs> I'll tell you my tip if you care to know it. No, yes, I, I learned this. Like With lip liner on your top lip, you don't go from the bow down, you go up and oh. then you don't make your lips smaller. That's Something true. about going up towards the middle means you line it fully. I mean, I, I can't see that the makeup. other day, actually. Oh, really? Like, someone oh. was like, yeah, do it oh. up or upwards. I mean, I don't really use lip liner very often, but I was like, what if I ever do? Then yeah. I oh, I'm a big was... fan of lip liner. So, Love that. So try yeah, it up. Huge. Okay, I'm going to do it. And I suppose it's sort of like when you do your eyebrows and you've got to go up, right? Mm. So something dimensions. about you kind of shave off a bit of lip if you're going yeah, of course in. You do, you Whereas it up, down. you go around. I don't know. <laughs> I don't make up the rules. I don't wear them. <laughs> anyway, okay, thanks for all the tips, ladies. Right. While we have Georgia on the sofa. Yes. We've got to talk about. <laughs> Does it begin with a J? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jungle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> yes. 
It does. <laughs> Keep up. It's the jungle. It's I'm a celebrity. We can't ignore it. We don't want to ignore yeah. it. And we have a reigning champion. We have a queen amongst us. <laughs> so sweet. So let's get Matt Hancock and park him and talk all things okay. jungle. Okay? Like, yeah, they can deal with that. We want to deal with you. Uh -huh. And tell us all about it. Like, really? Do you guys want to know? Yeah. Okay, so ask, amazing. ask. She's yes. here. So all right, I'll start, I'll start. Is it as we see, i.e. after a trial, yeah. is it as grim that you then just trundle off to camp? Or is it like, quick, have a hot chocolate, have a cashmere, have a shower, you know? No, darling, none of that. So I was sort of of the understanding that you would, I mean, you, a bunch of celebs, I mean, I didn't think I was before I went in, but you would think that they'd be a little bit soft on you. But I think what I find fascinating as a viewer, and I'm a huge fan of the show, is that you don't see those moments. You know, when you're covered in gunk and fish guts and, you know, all of those ghastly things that they seem to do every day in there. You know, the whole effort of trying to get that off you. You put the same clothes on that you're wearing, I mean, in my case, three and a half weeks. So Two vest tops, one t-shirt. Is that it? That's it. Darling. Did you hand wash it in a stream or something? Yeah, I mean, I attempted to. I'm not very domesticated. <laughs> that's not really my bag. I was going to like put it in the river a bit. Maybe that'll be all right. <laughs> so did you love it? Tell us everything. Oh God, I think I must be really perverse because I've genuinely enjoyed being starved and tortured. <laughs> and like without... Bad habits, so much. Right? Yeah. I don't know what it is about that format. It really suits me as a broadcaster because there's no production. You've got no producer in your ear telling you what to say or think or feel yeah. and I'm really good at sitting around and just chatting rubbish so it's just right up my street and I was really lucky in there because I had a brilliant brilliant year and I became friends with the guys so much older than me and we just laughed from the minute we woke oh, up until we went to bed it was amazing okay I've got to ask though yeah the bugs all that stuff like how yeah. are you fearless anyway or was your head that I'm in here let's just do it like how did you get your head in that zone I just don't know I don't I obviously don't have any real phobias, so I do think that would stop you from doing any of the trials. I sort of enjoy them. Does that yeah, sound weird? No, no. If you, I guess if you don't like fear anything great, yeah. then it's kind of like, yeah, oh, I mean, fear. Yeah. You to eat now, have fish guts on them. Like, yeah. it, 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 I don't have I a fear of fish guts. What was the worst thing you ate? Oh God, do you know, oh, no. interestingly, not eating, it was the drinking. Oh, okay. Because mind over matter, you know that you can eat something, but yeah. with these big like dirty pints Ooh. of like blended stuff, <laughs> because the consistency is so thick, and when your tummy is so, well, it's tiny, it shrunk yeah. so much, I'm thinking, I can't get it down, and you're trying to keep up with some bloke oh, opposite God. you. Yeah. But that was the only thing that I thought I couldn't do, but I love the physicality of the actual trials. Yeah. It was really amazing, yeah. I love the physicality. I'm like, come get me in there. <laughs> and also, you know, point proving, like everyone yeah. sort of looked at me and thought I'd be rubbish and mean yeah. Yeah. And actually, it's it's a really lovely feet. feeling to show that yeah. you can do it. Yeah, and why not yours? Can I ask as well, like yeah, in terms on. of like actually stuff you can bring with you? Because I know yeah. you get like luxury items, but I always wonder like what you're allowed to bring with you, like makeup wise, anything at all, well, any kind of like deodorant, anything. So um, I was actually allowed on medical grounds to have some concealer because okay. when I went in there, I mean my skin was the worst it's ever been. And I felt quite strongly mm. that I just couldn't be myself without yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and they took the same view, but I was a real anomaly. I don't think that's ever happened before. Mm. But darling, they give you nothing. They give you one razor that's obviously rusty, you know, like a bit. But oh, like 48 hours in, I'm like, I'm not shaving my pits with that. Like, so bad, they don't show how, little you have yeah. and you know the washing detergent you also do the dishes with and oh, I like, do right. I use a shampoo Amazing. you know you don't even get a hairbrush you need not these... even a hairbrush no all I have off. no darling nothing <laughs> you have like <laughs> those combs that my grandfather used to use you know these tiny oh, little yeah. Yeah. like tortoise shell combs something I ain't getting through my name <laughs> yeah. you know it's awful but you know it's driven back to basics that's when you oh, yeah. sort of find a bit of happiness wow I, I'm, <laughs> I literally <laughs> so could talk to you all day about this yeah. but we can't but wow I feel like that that's insightful. Very. I love this. Thank you, Sweet. Toph. All right. Whew, what a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> now, if your midweek supper stable of salmon, quite different, much like the majority of the Sherlock's office, Summer Pine is here with three new recipes to mix it up from a Buddha bowl to a one tray wonder. They are all much more exciting than my salmon topped with pesto effort. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Summer and today I'm going to cook salmon three ways, so stick around. So my first dish is a herby panko crumbed piece of salmon with a side of homemade fries with garlic and rosemary. Yum! So the first thing you want to do is grab some potatoes, cut them into wedges like I've done here already. Um, I've parboiled mine just a little bit so that they get, they're fluffy on the inside and then crispy on the outside. So all I'm going to do is get a heavy base saucepan 
And I'm going to add my potatoes. To this, I'm going to add some olive oil. I want those fries covered. And then I'm just going to add some sprigs of rosemary. I've also got some garlic, which I've left the skin on and I've just sort of crushed them with my knife and they're going to go in there. Don't want to forget the seasoning. A bit of salt and some pepper. So I'm just going to carefully mix. Look, it doesn't matter if they fall apart, it really doesn't matter. As long as they taste good, that is the main thing. And that's going to go into the oven while we get on with everything else. Okay, so while my potatoes are cooking, we're going to get a lovely piece of salmon. I prefer to go my fishmongers, but obviously you can also get this in your supermarket. And we're going to start with the breadcrumb mixture. I've got some panko breadcrumbs, so I'm just going to lay them out here. To this, I'm going to add one lemon rind. I've got some garlic, thyme, parsley, and some fennel seeds. So I'm just going to add them. Like that. A little bit of seasoning. And then what you want to do is mix it all together. Right, so now that that's mixed, first of all, grab your salmon. And we're going to add some horseradish and I am just going to cover the salmon like so. Grabbing my panko mixture, that looks good. I'm going to grab my salmon and I'm just going to pat it in like that. And as you can see, that is now nicely covered, but you can just add a little bit more if you want. So I'm going to check on my uh, fries, they've been in there for about 15 minutes now and then I'm going to turn them over, I'm going to add the salmon and we're going to bake for another 15 minutes. Okay, so my salmon is ready and now all I'm going to add to this is some horseradish. I like to serve it in the pan that it's being cooked in because I think it's just a nice touch and then you just break pieces away. So there you go, there's my panko herby crusted salmon with homemade garlic and raisin fries. So next up, I'm going to make a salmon butter bowl and we are going to start with the salmon and I'm going to marinate that. So here I have some soy sauce, I'm going to add some sesame oil and then to this I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Add some honey for the sweetness. Don't be shy. I'm going to add some pepper and some spring onions. I'm going to add my salmon. Just going to mix that up. So now that the salmon is marinated, you need to get yourself a heavy uh, nonstick pan. And we're just going to pop that on high heat for the moment. And then we're just going to pan fry the salmon until it's nice and golden on the outside and delicious. You don't want to overcook it, so you don't want it falling apart. You just want it to be nicely coated. And I think that is ready to serve. Grab yourself a bowl and we're going to start layering. So I'm starting with brown rice. You could use white rice if you wanted to. I'm going to grab our lovely salmon and I'm just going to place that like so. And you might want to just get some of the juices as well because that's all going to make everything taste so delicious. So now I'm going to add some pickles, which I just did really simply. So I used vinegar, sugar and some chilies and that's it. I have some edamame as well, which you can buy frozen and then you just boil. I'm going to add some of that for some greens. You can't not have a Buddha bowl without avocado. So I've just got half an avocado here, which I've sliced. I have some sriracha mayonnaise, which I absolutely love. I'm going to add that across my avocado and then I'm going to add some sesame seeds. A little bit of coriander if you like that flavour. I know it's not for everyone. I'm going to put that over here. Spring onions just for, again, I love the flavour and it just lifts the bowl up a bit. And I've got some snorri seaweed. Maybe cut a few slices off like that. And there you have it. That is my salmon Buddha bowl, full of delicious, nourishing food. 
So next up, we're going to cook Thai salmon fish cakes. There's a little bit of a twist to this one because we're using brown rice instead of potatoes and it has the most delicious flavour. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to add our salmon to our Magimix food processor. I'm going to add some spring onions, chilli, garlic and some kaffir lime leaves. So just add that in. I'm also going to add uh, some red curry paste, which you can buy at the supermarket, and some lemongrass paste, just for ease. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce for flavour, and now we're ready to go. So, as you can see, there's it's kind of formed a nice paste. So now I'm just going to add the rice and some coriander and then we're good to go. Okay, so I'm just going to check the consistency and I am happy with that. So now we can make our fish cakes. I recommend putting on a pair of gloves and then that way you're not going to stain your fingers and they won't be smelly. I'm going to grab some corn flour. I'm just going to put it on a lined baking sheet. There, I'm just simply going to grab a little handful of the mixture and just roll it around like that. I'm going to pop that in here with a little bit of corn flour and then I'm just going to assemble, keep assembling until the mixture runs out. The thing that you might want to try and do is just make sure they're the same, similar size because you want them to cook evenly. So these are now ready to go in the oven. You want to cook them on about 190 for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on when they go nice and golden. So while the fish cakes are cooking, I'm going to make a little dipping sauce. I'm going to make this very simple and easy. Um, let's start off with a tablespoon of mirin and some fish sauce. I'm going to chop up some spring onion and that's going to go to the sauce. Just try and get as fine as possible. I've got some coriander here as well. I'm just going to take a few of the leaves off. Just roughly chop that, add that. Now we're just going to add cucumber. And we're just going to chop that into little squares. And again, this is just going to go into the mixture. And we're going to have a little taste because we always need to just make sure it tastes okay. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so my fish cakes are ready and now it's time to plate. So I'm going to get some of that delicious dipping sauce and I'm just going to put it over the top like so, just so. And there you go, that's my salmon Thai fish cakes. Enjoy. Okay, that's my three salmon recipes. I hope you feel inspired to get cooking this week. Have a look down below for all the recipe details and I'll see you next time. See you later, bye. Love that, thanks Summer. It's always like, duh, we need the inspo, yeah. even though we all just fall into the same boring food oh traps, don't yeah. we? What do you think? I mean, I literally have the same like routine every single week and I get so, I had salmon last night yeah. dinner, and it was so freaking boring. <laughs> so I'll be <laughs> using some of those recipes to shake things up. Can't handle the so boring salmon anymore. <laughs> nah, dry, boring salmon is not the one. Not Life the is for living. <laughs> Rhea, well, are you a cook? Oh, we like cooking in our house. Yes. Do you? Yeah, a lot. So oh, like, nice, I yeah. actually quite like coming home after work and spending time cooking because that yeah, to me right. is like decompression, mm. yeah. um, which I feel like is so weird for a lot of people. But no. like when I save nice. it for the weekend, but I think in the week, it's just quite nice for me to, there's not else much else we can focus on. So it's like a bit of a podcast or some mm. music. Cook, mm. Mindfulness, then, isn't it? Exactly. And yeah. I need that right now. So. <laughs> Tough, other than nibbling on, you know, snails' guts and spiders. <laughs> What else do you like? You're a big cook. Darling, I can't cook for Toffee. I can't do any of it. Honestly, I'm useless. But I do. I love watching people cook. Like that that little segment. Great. Loved it. <laughs> Shall be doing it, but loved it. <laughs> I love having Toff on the show. Yeah, we need that every week. Sorry. Now, um, what it taught me, Summer, is that I need a new food processor because that is key to a lot of good food. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I could get one during Black Friday. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Seamless, Olivia. Well Thanks. Done. <laughs> An original idea. So, Black Friday. We can't ignore it just like we can't no. ignore lots in life. 
What's your view on it? Are you a pro? How do you approach it? Like, talk me through it. Why would anyone dislike it? Because it's discount. <laughs> no? Well, here's a question. Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah, there's oh. a lot of, like, talk Whoa. about Conspiracy how theory. they're, like, bogus discounts. Like, they've just oh. raised the prices and then put discounts yeah. in to, like, you know, feed you in, feed you a carrot. Clickbait. But you know what? I do think it is good for things that you were going to buy anyway, mm-hmm. like your regulars, or if someone wants a Christmas present in particular, then I will definitely use Black Friday. <laughs> but I try not to get sucked in too much by, like, impulse buying. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you guys. Well, as a retailer insider, um, Black Friday <laughs> is now two weeks, first of all. Yeah. And it's actually a lot of goes into the negotiations with the with the money off. Because obviously you've got some just from the retailer, some of the brands help to also kind of bump up. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I agree actually with Polly, like have a list, be strategic, mm. like get staples rather than things that you wouldn't even ever buy at full price because mm. then you're like, what do I do with all this stuff? Yeah, true. So, that's very interesting. So the Black Friday deals are a negotiation from whoever's selling the product and the brands themselves, and it's kind of, yeah. you collaborate on finding a good price. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ah. I think, you know, when you're a retailer, you can you can set your own prices for the most part. But um, depending on the brands and the agreements, for sure, sometimes you might have larger discounts on a certain brand because they're also contributing to, the, to the money off, Good which is nice. quite interesting. Yeah. Also, Polly may ask, before we get to you, Tuff, because I, I have a feeling you're going to love Black Friday. <laughs> I feel like you'll be like, didn't even know they were shopping out in the world. Like, but, sorry. But Polly, um, you know, like Netta Porte, Matches, all those yeah. like, and big luxury brands. Can you get deals? Yeah, well, like matches are doing twenty five percent off for the moment. Everything site actually, wide. No, I think it's a select right. section. But I would say the selection is quite extensive. Mm. So actually, my pick for Black Friday is a pair of like Max Mara mittens, oh, nice. oh, which gorgeous. I just think are so adorable, and they come with a little cord so you can hang them around your neck when oh, you cute. take them off through your coat sleeves. I through my coat sleeves, and I think like you know now it's cold. My little my little hands get yeah. really cold, so. So you can like treat yourself to something like that. Yeah. But I, I do think, yeah, you're right. If you have that wish list on those lovely sites and it's yeah. in, it, it, now's the time. So now that's fair. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. But I just don't like... need like a barrage in my inbox. No. Or do you? Oh, no, I want it. I want the barrage. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do. I want it to come at me from all angles. Because if not, I wouldn't log on and have a look. Yeah. You're so are you going to be shopping? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm the worst. Just like put it near me and I'm like, okay, I have it. <laughs> have you, so you're going to buy anything? Oh, you're, you're, you're yes. just see on the day. Well, this is it. What you mentioned earlier about it starting about a week ago. I mean, I, feel, yeah. I didn't even know that Black Friday was on Black Friday because it's been going on for so long. Absolutely. But um, so I am obsessed with this brand called Shushu Tong. Do you know it? Oh yeah, I do. So <laughs> I'm cool. obsessed. It's like so up my stars. I love it so much. And I ordered this beautiful top. I actually ordered the matching skirt. It's so like, cute. Blue, beautiful embellishment. Loved it. But the skirt was like a little bit Melania Trump, like when you put it <laughs> with each other. So I so I thought that like, the economizing part was sending back. The skirt. Smart. You're basically making money by sending yeah. that back, babes, you know? Yes. It's free money when it gets returned, isn't it? It's <laughs> so weird, that's so true. Exactly. Oh, I have money in my account yeah. Yeah. I didn't have. I love that. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I was thrilled because it had, it again, matches. It was 25% yeah, off. Because so like, oh, it's such a rarity that I look on my wish list and actually anything is included in the Okay, sale. so that's it's a lovely nice. version of Black Friday event. Yeah. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. And also, you're winning. Yeah. Great, can't wait to Hot see you in it. For me, even though I'm not shopping anymore, there is one thing I just need which is I'm obsessed with my citizens horseshoe denim jeans can't speak in black <laughs> I think I'll get the blue nice. because I really like the shape and the style so yeah. I might as well get them you tried and works. tested it I, exactly yes, it doesn't different. feel splurgy it feels yeah. like a good purchase and that's for wear true. on those as well you know you'll get a lot of wear and in the summer the light blue yeah. yeah see I've sold them to you all don't buy them till <laughs> I get them okay, okay. <laughs> Ria, what um, do you get Mine, well, I need no more beauty ever, <laughs> ever. Uh, So I'm actually homewear. Yeah. And oh, you yeah. know the Sophie Conran scalloped uh, pillowcases oh, that yeah. I've wanted Isn't for nice. ages oh. have a very juicy discount. Oh, do they? I don't yeah, think from, they would be in. No, they, they are. <gasps> like so um, yes, don't buy them also before I finish. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know what colour I want yet. Stunning. Love your purchases, girls. All right, thank you. So next up, we're getting down to the nitty gritty with Toph, asking her 20 questions on life, beauty, culture, you name it, back soon. Today's podcast is the first in a new series of neurodiversity podcasts. I mean, now, if I were able to, I would define our little world completely differently, and I wouldn't try and just squeeze them into the drawer. Something that's very important is for parents to embrace, be understanding, accepting, but not just 
of their child, but of themselves. We really try from a nutrition point of view, never any E numbers. That's the death of an ADHD child. Literally, that's when they lose it. And I think that if yeah. you want to promote your child to be more self-regulated, it has to come from you first because you are modeling that for your child. That is all going to contribute to that self-regulation that is ultimately the aim of everyone, especially people with ADHD. Welcome back. I'm joined by Georgia Topolo, who since her time on Made in Chelsea back in the day has become a very successful media and television personality and Sunday Times best-selling author and is an all-round gorgeous and hilarious human being. That is true. It is so lovely to have you here. Let's jump straight in. I feel there is a lot to talk about and I know you're going to be so brilliant on this. All right, we're asking you 20 questions, so let's crack on. Right, your biggest career challenge so far. Oh, that was probably writing my debut novel, but it was throughout COVID and I really wanted the engagement of someone else who had done it before. But anyway, I did it. I suppose it, it was good, but a bit painful in the short term. Got it. Yeah. Um, best experience you've had? Let's talk in a career capacity. I think probably going to LA to cover the Oscars for this morning. Wow. Which is amazing. And I was just like screaming at everyone on the red carpet. I just didn't know <laughs> what I was doing. And I asked Gary Oldman whether he could take me as his date to the Oscars. And then his wife turned around and was like, no. I was like, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Best person you've met on this career journey. Oh my goodness, that's so tricky. I think for me, I went with my friend Stanley to some event in the House of Commons and um, I met Joanna Lumley. I know. I feel like you two would get on I really know. well. And she sort of said to me, hi darling, like she knew me. And God knows whether she did, but I'm still loving it. Tell moment. me you said hi darling back. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> what is your absolute career dream? Oh gosh, what a wonderful question. I think it would be to have a Sunday Times bestseller, but over in America. Because I think my books would be really well received over there. And do you know what I think is going to happen? Your books are going to be made into like movies for Netflix or something. Hundred percent. All right, let's talk beauty, health, mm -hmm. all that type of thing. First up, makeup product that you never want to be discontinued. Oh my god, I took it in the jungle with me. It's it's Estee Lauder Double Wear. For me, it's just saved my skin so many times in literally every aspect. Because sometimes I do feel without my mask and my makeup on, I'm not as confident. I'm not myself. And I think that's actually okay to admit that sometimes. 100%. We all yeah. need our things. Yeah. And it's great to own it. We yeah. all have it. Okay, great. They won't discontinue it, we hope. <laughs> Favourite skincare brand and why? Oh, it's got to be Dabalogica. It has been for 10 years. Um, for me, the products and the ingredients are so brilliant. And yes, it's a tiny bit more expensive than one might like want to pay. Want to pay. But um, I'm a huge fan of the brand. What's the best beauty treatment you've ever had? I think it's dermaplaning. Have you ever had it done? No, what is that? So it's basically for peach fuzz on your face. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. They just shave it off. <laughs> like I'm a hairy beast. And I, I just get my it. razor on, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> I'm dark, dark hair. I get it off. <laughs> yeah, dermaplaning ain't going to work for me. Joke. <laughs> um, okay, describe your exercise routine because your body is banging, babe. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm all or nothing. So I'm either like a potato <laughs> Or I'm working out every day. This week I've been working out every day. So I love spinning. I either go to KX2 or Soul Cycle. I just find it so euphoric and it's cringe and I love it. And they okay. gear me up for the day. Woo! You yeah. dance on your back. I wave the towel above my head like a proper loser. <laughs> Brilliant. What's your top tip for feeling your best self? Oh, it's my secret weapon. It's, it's taking collagen every day. I love collagen. Yeah, I mean, I was searching for so long to find a brand that didn't taste like fish or like, oh, so bad. Bone anyway, bones. Yeah, I well. hate it. And I found Vital Proteins and it's yes. completely tasteless. You can put it in your water because I'm not a huge tea or coffee drinker. And I mean, the muscle recovery, my skin, my hair, my nails, everything is just transformed. Yeah. Great tip. All right, what's your one guilty pleasure? Oh, it's probably when I go for supper. Sometimes I go to these places that have Welsh rabbit on the menu for pudding. So you've already taken down what? a big meal and yeah. I'll have, I'll order the Welsh rabbit for pud. Yeah. Thick cheesiness, it, but yeah, actually, sounds pretty good. All <laughs> the right. guiltiest pleasure of them all. Um, so we know you like restaurants. We'll move on from that. What is the best book, not your own, that you've read lately? Do you know, I think it's probably The Unexpected Joy of Being Sober by Catherine Gray. Mm. And I think if anyone's sober curious, it's such a good book to start with because she actually just lays down like how good it can be not waking up with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you mentioned you haven't had a drink in 10 days. Yeah, Are you right? feeling good? That's because I read Catherine Gray's There you go. Okay. Best box set you've streamed and it can be on any of the streaming platforms or whatever, like Netflix, Disney, whatever. 
the Elon Musk documentary Ooh. on BBC One. I'm just like obsessed with the man and the documentary is really insightful. I actually should watch that. I yeah. need to learn about him. Your favourite breakfast, lunch and supper. Okay, so for breakfast, two boiled eggs, Marmite soldiers with cheese on top. Stunning. Yeah, it's so good. And then for lunch, I just want to go and have some oysters, like something really light. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what? I Where'd you grab an oyster for your quick lunch? <laughs> we could go to Scott's. There you I go. don't know. <laughs> and then for supper, I love beef wellington. That would be my perfect day of eating. Really? Yeah. That like your last supper day That's of food. It. Brilliant. I have to say, Marmite Melties, we call them at home. Cheese and Marmite. The, the dream, me too. love the name. All right, what is your guilty pleasure in life? Not food, just everything. Probably just like my shopping addiction, no? Uh, yes. It's like, it's bad, but it's great at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Open that package. I share that. Okay, tell us about your first kiss. Oh, Christ. First kiss, you're taking me back now. It was with a boy called Ben in the middle, the arse end of nowhere in Devon at a hump ball. A what? A hunt ball. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> How old were you? I think I was about 14, 13. Okay, 14. so respectable. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel at this age in yourself? Do you know, I felt a real difference turning 28. Like 27, I felt like I was really young, bit juvenile. 28, I'm like, oh my God, I'm kind of quite proud of how I've got my shit together. No, but I do think there's a bit of a shift between these two ages. Got your shit together. You yeah. are flying. <laughs> so sweet. As someone a decade on, let me tell you, you are killing it. Okay, biggest life lesson you've learned so far? Oh, everything is just better when you've washed your hair and you've got full face makeup on. Um, what's left on your left on your bucket list you'd like to do, assuming you've achieved everything else? Yeah, I have done quite a lot on my yeah, bucket list, great. which is an amazing thing. Um, I think what I would really like to do is walk the whole of the South Devon Coastal Path, where I grew up in Devon. And there's this amazing book that was written by a lady called Raina Wynn, and it's called The Salt Path. And it really, every time I pick it up or see it on the bookshelf, I'm like, oh my God, I want to do that, because they walked it. Well, how long would it take? Oh my God, it would take a really long time. It's like the whole of the South. Okay, well, you'll do it. Yeah, I will do it one day. Do a challenge, sure. Yeah. <laughs> what haven't you achieved yet? So on my hit list, I really want like a beautiful little cottage in the countryside. Um, and I watched Sienna Miller's tour around her one. I'm um, in the countryside, AD did it. And it's just ignited something in my mind. That's what I would really love. It's like a goal that I'm striving for. That's a great goal, something to work for. Tell us one thing we don't know about you. Oh. I am so public. One thing that I probably haven't broadcast. I know the whole of the QWERTY keyboard off by heart. What? Go. Yeah, I know it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Q W E R T Y U I O P A S D F G H J K L Z X C V B N M. Did I just blow your mind? <laughs> what, what useless information. I don't know. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you write books. You're, you're having to access these letters all day. Brilliant. All right, what's coming up next? Because we're excited. Oh, you're so sweet. So next week, I've got a documentary on ITV2. <laughs> I know. Mega. It's all about acne, and I'm so proud of it. It's on the 30th at 9 p.m. It's the first time I've done something documentary-based, and it took me months and months to film. Um, and I'm, yeah, I just feel like it's something that really needs to be spoken about. Can't wait to watch. Thank, Thank you, Georgie. You. you are a dream. Thank you, darling. All right, we feel we could chat all day, but I've got to move on. And next up, it is BTS with the extended share like theme for free people and a look at some serious party wear inspiration. My suite, please. I'm quite excited for the shoot today. It's a really nice room and the clothes are good, so I'm excited. Hello. Do you want to start on makeup? You've been called. Done. It's a hard life. Someone's got to do it, Elle. You know? yes, what is the shoot today? So we're shooting uh, four free people looks, which is going to be very exciting. It's very party. So we had Mo coming in to shoot with like flash. So this is the general concept. So do you want to do an elevator scene, lobby? It's like a little makeup area. And then my personal favorite, the whiskey room, which is like fully mirrored. How cool is that? And Jess, That's where cool. are we shooting today? So we are at the Londoner in this insane room. I don't know if you've had a look around yet. I've just had a little sneak peek, but it's such a lovely hotel in Leicester Square, right near all the theaters, but um, it's just a perfect spot for all the party wear stuff and the sparkles. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm the makeup artist on the shoot today. What kind of makeup is Polly getting today? Um, she's having a smoky eye and a nude lip. Nice. So nice. Hi, I'm Andreas Wild. I work for Larry King in Notting Hill. And we're here to shoot for Sheer Lux. What one product does everyone need this Christmas to get the perfect party hair? Larry King Social Life for Your Hair, which normally comes with like a little brush. And it's basically just for that flyaway hair. So basically, if you would have 
your hair all down and then you just put the cream on, use the little brush and just brush it all down, you get that really glamorous look. Filling in for Amrit, who's now model for the day. I really love this gold one. So you've been talking about that for like a week yeah, in the I office. Yeah, finding it in the thing. I think that's really cool. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, hello. That was oh, very handy. Cool. This is amazing. Welcome home. I can see Big Ben. <laughs> it's five to ten. <laughs> I can see you really close up, Al. Are these ones that... <laughs> oh, fun. Okay, so this is a rail of party bits. Really really amazing sleeves. They've got some metallic glitter amazing sleeves. Then we've got this little play suit which I love. You love a glittery play suit. Every I literally do. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's just like to me like a play suit is way more like fun. This slip dress. Then we've got some sequins. Then we've got this black dress. Um, so what we do is we're going to go a little bit with bigger hair, away from the beach waves, a little bit more glamorous. I think with the whole fashion at the moment, it's going back to the 80s, that kind of vibe. Um, yeah, we put some rollers in and then we just let it all flow. It's gorgeous, Thank babe. You. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these boots. So do you remember we were on the show yeah. talking about like, yeah. can't find the right boots? Yeah. And then I was invited to Jigsaw have a new boutique and I was like, I the, that's the boots, they're the boots. Oh yeah, I love them. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. Um, Skirts are sick again today, I see. Skirts are sick, skirts are sick for you. Do you know what you're wearing? No. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, sheets. This is nice. <laughs> this is a girl. The hair, the makeup, the glamour. The dress looks incredible. The platform shoes. So I am wearing this amazing gold lame dress, which has got incredible so puffed sleeves. It's got a little bow. Oh, yeah. This platform heels, which are actually surprisingly comfortable. Okay. I like the fact they're giving me. Um, and then just finishing off this really cute little kneaded bag, which has a handy body strap. Okay. But it's only the real ones over here, then. Only the what? Real ones. Real ones. Yeah, phrase, oh, you're a real one, Lou. Like, no. like, like it's an affectionate thing. <laughs> <laughs> you said something the other day, I was like, what's that? It was something about like a real... You real? Yeah. But that, that one's like not everyone all the, all is... All the like, last yeah. girls doing it. Oh, what? Like, oh, they're, they're being real. Yeah, they're, they're real. Being so real. So it's basically, you get like a notification at a certain point every day, and the idea is you just day. have to like, mm. um, take a photo of whatever you're doing right now, okay. and then it shares it with your friends, okay. and then that's you being real. Shall we go a corner and move through? Yeah. Little table. So and we're in the whiskey room and right now, drum, which is like her private little room like, at you, the end of the bar. It's, it's so like, beautiful. Yeah. We've got yeah. like a whole mirrored wall yes, around here, here and it's yeah. hidden basically the in the bathrooms, which is crazy. It's so cool. Hi. Lou, how are the pictures looking? So good. Like, so good. It probably looks absolutely amazing. It's giving me a bit of a Bond girl vibe, which I'm really into. Cool. Gosh, I think we got it. Yeah. Great. Ooh. That was quick. Yeah. Oh, that was quick. The bow looks so good. I love it. And the red lips. You yeah. I feel like I'm just all with makeup. So when I see a red lip, I'm like, yeah. and then when someone does a red lip, I'm like, who's that? Lou, yeah. Just got my be real notification. <gasps> Ready to post. What is that mean? Oh, I'll oh, get it. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, these, and oh, yeah, really all the lips are really like, they've got their own vibe, I love it. So Patricia, what are you wearing? I am wearing this gorgeous black sequined <laughs> number and I've got this really cute bow in my hair. What product are you yeah, using there, Grace? And this is the Fendi yeah, Beauty Body Wrapper. It's got like a little bit of a, a tint. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's insane. And Grace, what red is Patricia wearing? Anastasia, Bobby Hills, actually, American Doll. How do they look? They look so fetching. Yeah, they, I'm a home to take We're going to smoke it up your eyes. Cute. So Vanessa, where are we up to now? Um, we're going back down by the whiskey room. There is a really nice dressing table. Um, so it's going to be kind of tucked up uh, in the bathroom lines. Okay. Wow. 
Is that a wrap, Patricia? That's a wrap. Although I don't want to take the fat bit off, I love it. Can we try this shoe? Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, maybe those. Okay, I don't have that, but imagine some random person yeah. now. Yeah, let's like, try those. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, Karina, what are you wearing now? So, I'm wearing this gorgeous puff sleeve free people dress. If you follow me, then you'll know, like, I love a puff sleeve dress. It's got the really cute back bow detail. And then I've got these really sparkly shoes. It's just classic. Like, this is my perfect Christmas party outfit like it's easy it's comfortable i can dance in it and i don't feel restricted and it's fun okay, nice. right let's go where am i going where do i go <laughs> <laughs> where do i go where do i go, where do I go? <laughs> lou what do you love about this look it's just saying such a pretty dress it's got like quite like the cecily manson vibes like very kind of billowy shoulders Really kind of easy, beautiful back. So forward just so we can see both. Look and like elongate yes. your legs as much as you can. Does that run on top? Just point your toes down. Yeah, it went really well. I don't know, I get really nervous before I shoot because I'm like, how should I pose? I felt very me in this outfit and the hair. So, Vanessa. What's the brief for the hair and makeup for Amber? So for Amber, it's going to be more of a like, she's just got back from the party, so it's quite like big hair, a smoky eye, a bit of smoke under the eye as well. Woo! Amber, what are you wearing now? Um, I'm wearing this gorgeous black yes. mini dress with these amazing, I think they look organza puff sleeves. With these incredible shoes, this is from Jeffrey Campbell, and they're just insane. And this beautiful, embellished bag. I mean, I personally oh, yeah. love a black mini dress. Um, so I think just the fact that this is just so figure hugging and beautiful, and the sleeves, like the extra details, just great. Oh my god, Amber just looks amazing. <laughs> I love a LBD. It's a real cliche, but it always works. And I think you want to look for those pieces. We just have like something a little bit unique. So obviously with this, it's all about the shoulders and adding a bit more drama and then going out there with the accessories. But yeah, it's very chic, classic. You look like a bouncer. Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> Take me to my hotel room, tired, <laughs> bored. <laughs> and then I think let's get then stood in front of the lift. Right. Cute. Alright. Yeah, great. Yeah. I think we got it. Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. Yay! 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 So Vanessa, Lou, how did that go? So good! So good. Yeah. The hair and makeup was incredible. Yeah. Like all the girls had like their Spice Girl vibe. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Um, I love it. Yeah, all looks amazing and obviously Mo nailed the shots. So yeah, all in all, great shoot. So successful. Thanks guys. Bye. 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 I loved that. Polly, was that such a fun day? And it you looked was. exquisite, no, by thanks. the way. Yeah, no, it was so fun. I always find it really hilarious because like often these shoots are quite early in the morning. We're obviously wearing a lot of nighttime gear, full face of makeup. You're walking through a hotel, people are working away on their laptops. And I'm just like, I feel a bit conspicuous. Otherwise, great. Yeah. Loved it. But you look great and the clothes were. Thanks. Love yeah, free people. Kiss. Right, that is it. Thank you so much to Toff, Ria, and Polly, and of course to Summer, Amy, Amrit, Karina, and Patricia. We are back next week with fashion from Rachel Ingram, hair tips from a hairdressing legend, some amazing high street footwear, and lots, lots more. In the meantime, we would love it if you could comment below, give us a thumbs up, and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye.